This breakfast features a bowl of rice topped with shirasu and a special delicious rice salmon. In the second half, I'll introduce okonomiyaki with noodles that everyone will absolutely love. Please look forward to it. First of all, let's start by making miso soup for breakfast. Make a delicious miso soup using leftovers from the fridge. I use onions and carrots. Cut up more carrots and use them in other dish later. Other ingredients will be added later, but these two time-consuming ingredients are cooked first. I recommend onion because even a little bit of onion makes miso soup sweet and very tasty. Add water for two bowls of miso soup. Simmer over low heat. Next, prepare boiled egg. Once it's broken down like this, the seasonings are combined. Put miso paste, mayonnaise, and yogurt. Adding miso makes the tartar sauce a little different from usual and tastes great. You can add chopped onion or chopped pickles if you like. Add a little dried parsley. Next, prepare panko and butter. I make butter by mixing flour and water. It might be better to add an egg. I skip it this time. I think about the same amount of water and flour should be fine. I cut the salmon filet in half for easy cooking. This salmon is quite strongly salted already, so don't add anything. Just butter and panko. Sprinkle your salmon with salt and pepper as needed. I won't do it this time because I bought salmon with salt on it, but I'm thinking of frying salmon marinated in miso sauce next time. What is your favorite way to eat salmon? Deep fry in oil. Fry for 3 to 4 minutes on each side without increasing the heat too much. I haven't made fried salmon in a very long time, but it was very tasty. Next, let's make side dish with this komatsuna, Japanese mustard spinach. I recently learned that komatsuna is relatively high in calcium among leafy greens, so I often buy it since komatsuna is cooked quickly. Fry the carrots cut earlier in oil first. When the carrots are well oiled and cooked to a certain extent, add the stems of komatsuna. By the way, today's seasonings can be enjoyed with any vegetable, so use any vegetable you like in place of komatsuna. Add the leaves. You can fry the leaves for a minute or so. Turn off the heat here. You can transfer them to a bowl, but for easier cleanup, season them in the pot. I have some Hawaii sesame seeds, so I will add them as ground sesame. Add crab sticks. It's also delicious with ham or tuna. Mix lightly. Season it with rice vinegar. Soy sauce. sugar, and dash powder. You can make more and store it in the fridge. Heat it up in a couple of days. Prepare ingredients to be added to miso soup. Dice this tofu. I have some Chinese chives left over from when I made spicy ramen the other day, so I used them. When carrots and onions are softened, add bean sprout, Chinese chive, and tofu. These cook quickly and only need to be simmered for 1 or 2 minutes. Turn off the heat and add miso. This is miso with dashi, so skip the dashi powder. Please add dashi powder if necessary. I thought about making a soup that was not miso flavored, but I decided to make miso soup because I thought it would go well with the rice bowl I will make in today. Now let's make that bowl. This is shirasu. In English, I think it translates to white bait or baby sardine. It's slightly salty and goes great with rice. 
In Japan, delicious shiraz rice bowl are available at seaside tourist spot. I hope you will try the fresh shiraz rice bowl when you come to Japan. It's also excellent with eggs. I wanted to top it with shiso as well, but it's only green onion. Sprinkle a little soy sauce on it and eat. Miso soup and salad are ready too. For the tartar sauce you just made over the salmon, it's very tasty with a hint of miso flavor. Next, I'm introducing how to make Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki with noodles. Use cabbage as in regular okonomiyaki, cut into shreds. Hiroshima is the name of a region in Japan. The style of okonomiyaki popularized this region differs slightly from the usual pancake like style in that the butter and ingredients are layered without mixing. Layering ingredients without mixing them together is difficult to make at home. But today I will teach you how to do it easily in a fry pan. Another great feature is that it contains noodles which are extremely tasty and I hope you will give it a try. Once the cabbage is ready, make the dough. Prepare beaten egg. Put the flour in the bowl. By the way, it makes enough dough for two okonomiyaki. Add egg. Water. And kombu dashi powder. This can be done with bonito dashi. If not available, you may omit it or add other types of stock powder. Mix slowly until there are no lumps. Heat a fry pan and spread the butter thinly. Stretch with the bottom of the ladle as if you were baking a crepe. I wanted to make it a little thinner, but I'll light. Sprinkle with dried bonito flakes. In fact, I should put in fine powder of dried bonito, but I used regular bonito flakes instead. This can be left out. I wanted to add the dried bonito flakes before the dough hardened, but I was focused on spreading the dough. Well, this is not a problem either. Remove to a plate in this state. Next. Lay out the thinly sliced pork belly like this. Keep the heat low. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. And put tempura bit. It's fried dough called tenkasu. It can be made by frying a mixture of flour and water in oil. I bought it today. Please check this video to see how to make tempura bits. Put bean sprout. And cabbage. Use about 180 grams of cabbage per serving. It's a lot, but it gets smaller as it cooks. Place the dough on top as if you were covering it with a lid. Steam the cabbage over low heat for 10 minutes. I drained the water out of the cabbage thoroughly before I did it, so it took longer, but you can save time if you leave the cabbage moist. While the cabbage is cooking, prepare the eggs. Beat two eggs per serving. Prepare another fry pan and spread oil. Spread the eggs thinly. Make it about the same size as the crepe you just made. Transfer to a plate, being careful not to tear. It might be easier to do if you transfer it after it cools down. In the same pan, add the noodles and stir fry. These are sold as yakisoba noodles, boiled and lightly coated in oil. If you are using fresh noodles, boil them in a lot of water beforehand and then stir fry them. You may want to fry them in a little oil. もうこれは、えっと、麺が入ってるバージョンです。どうしよう。なんだろう、あの、お好み焼きがより食べやすくない。ボリュームが。ソフトっていうか、ボリュームっていうか。ふわふわ感も出るし。うん。生地がさ、
。なんかさ、お店だ、お店だとさ、あの。鉄板でやれるけどさ。うん、ここだと失敗しやすいから、うん。バラバラに作って、後で合体させるシステム。ああ、いいよ、ね。初めて作る人とかも、そっちの方がいいよ、ね。そうだね。お店だから鉄板で作るけどね。日本のさ、お好み焼き屋さんみたいなのってさ、自分で作る店と作ってもらうスタイルがあるから、うん、海外だとどうなの、えー、海外でお好み焼きの鉄板でやってるとか自分で作る人ないから。テーブルにさ、大きい鉄板がついててさ、うん、自分たちでやるじゃん。そういうお店、海外にもあるのかな、うん、ちょっと一旦味見してみるえ、味見してみるの一面ください。ちょっと待って、混ぜてからね。手でいくのバッツうんぐっいいうまい。後でオタックソースも使うから。そうね。オタックとかとかコク出てくる。そうか。オタックがだいぶコク出るよね。うまみ甘みみたいな。うん、この通常のソースだとなんてうるさだとヒレというか、うん、爽やか、はい、さっぱりフルーツなんだろうねってことで、うん、フルーツって野菜でしょおそらくはだしとか甘みが入ってるからねうんいいっすね楽しいよ After the yakisoba noodles are seasoned spread them on top of the previously prepared eggs Check the cabbage. Press down with the spatula to release water from the cabbage. This way, the okonomiyaki will not be soggy. The cabbage on the top is not easily cooked, so you may want to slightly mix the cabbage and move it out of position to cook it earlier. Do this to the extent that the overall shape does not collapse. By the way, if done over very low heat, the meat will not burn and will be nice and crispy. Even if the cabbage is steamed for a long time. When cabbage is cooked well, transfer this to the egg and noodles plate. Return this plate to the pan, turning it over. That way, the crepe dough will be at the bottom and the eggs at the top. If the eggs shift, just pull gently with your hand. This is the finished state. Slide it onto the plate as is. The sauce is important. If you can get a special sauce for okonomiyaki, that is the best. This is a little sweeter than tonkatsu sauce and has a variety of additional ingredients, including dashi. If not available, a substitute can be made by mixing this with tonkatsu sauce. Mayonnaise is also important. I would be happy if you could buy and use Japanese mayonnaise. And red pickle ginger as you like. 